Hey guys, so in the last video we talked about a few tips on how you can win the Swift Student Challenge and at the end of that video I said that uh, if I had enough questions I would do a Q&A video. That's coming later this week. But there was a specific question that I wanted to address separately and that is how do you create a playground? How do you get started with it? Even if you have experience with app development but never created a playground. So this is what this video is going to be about. But if you're new around here, my name is Rodolfo. In this channel, we talk about iOS development, tech in general, productivity, and everything in between. So if that's something that you're into, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get the next videos. And with that said, let's hop into the computer and create a playground. So the first thing you're gonna do is open Xcode, go up here on File, New, and Playground. So you can create a blank playground, a game, map, or a single view. Let's go with blank just to show you from scratch. So I'm gonna name it my playground and put it in the desktop. And here you have it, a simple playground. So we're gonna import playground support to get views shown into the playground and then let's say that just like an app we want to create two view controllers that are go gonna go from one to the other so the first thing I'm gonna do is create the size I want my view to be and this can be any size that you want I'm just picking a size that's slightly widescreen then let's create our first view controller our second view controller and the way you get them to show up is you instantiate the first view controller then a navigation controller set the root view controller as the first VC set the navigation frame as the view rect and then playground page dot current dot live view is gonna be the navigation VC dot view so to test that let's do something really simple here the first thing that you need to know is that unlike on an app you need to instantiate things on load view and not view did load so we're gonna use load view we're gonna create a view the frame is the view rect and then we're gonna do self dot view equals view and just to show that we're showing what we want to show let's give this a red background color now let's go ahead and copy this put it here and set it to blue now let's see what happens when we run this so we have our red view here but we don't have any buttons to go to the second view so let's do that now so we add the action method it's just a selector method telling the navigation controller to push the next view controller and then let's add the button so created a button here with a target that's this function set it set a title gave it a background color add it to the view and then used auto layout to position it into the center of the screen and to give it a size so let's run that and here we have it the button in the center of the screen if we tap it goes to the blue view controller so that's the basics for an xcode playground you can use swift ui instead of ui kit if you want to you can create a game you can create uh, other things with animations and whatever you want the other way to create a playground would be with playgrounds this app is available for both Mac and the iPad and they are basically the same. I think the only thing that you can do here is AR kit playgrounds just because you don't have the camera on the Mac. So that's something you can do on iPad but you can't do on the Mac. So these are the playgrounds that you have that you messed around with and down here you have kind of like an app store where you can download playgrounds and templates. So if you look down here, you, you see starting points. These are the templates that you can use for your Swift challenge. You can start with one of these instead of a blank playground. So let's get one here. 
and it seems like it has already a bunch of code creating polygons and it uses seems to use scene kit to place those graphics if we run this shows you a bunch of polygons and and things like that so this can be a starting point for you to create something and if you don't want to use a template you can just use a blank playground and it's going to be a blank canvas like it was here when we started this playground whatever you run it's gonna run on the side like we saw with the template so let me know in the comments if this was helpful if there's anything else that you want me to cover i'm still gathering the questions for the q a video so whatever questions that are left in this video i'm also gonna use for the q a and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it helps the channel a lot subscribe hit the notification bell and I see you on the next time.